So hey everyone, I'm Amit and this is my final presentation for this mentorship season. Um, this is my introduction. The project that we were working upon was Global Scouting of Distributed Ledger Technology or Blockchain Educational Opportunities. I am Amit and I also had a fellow mentee with me, also a friend, Jianming Yang. He was unfortunately got into a car accident and could not complete the whole internship for the second half. So um, these are my credentials. I'm from India. Jen Ming was from Taiwan. We both have Alfonso Govela as a mentor. He's been extremely helpful. He has huge support in completing this project. Um, so let's talk about the project first. So what we are trying to do is create a community of people who are actually interested in learning about blockchain and DLT in general. We expect to create some sorts of tools which will help people in order to learn faster and overall decrease the whole barrier to entry for the um, blockchain community. Uh, we expect to create a knowledge graph and a taxonomy as a tool. We, people will be able to learn from these tools and help curate them. So as you learn, you find out new resources and you'll be able to add to this uh, taxonomy as well as knowledge graph. We are currently using Neo4j database to host our knowledge graph database. And we are also creating a website using Next.js. It's a React based framework to enable everyone who is trying to interact with the knowledge graph um, to be able to interact with the knowledge graph without needing to know about Cypher query language and stuff like that. We have also made, uh, created crawlers using Python and Kali, like inside Golang. Uh, that was done in the first half of the present uh, mentorship period where Zhenming was also there. So Zhenming worked on KP and Python and I tried to create a Kali and Golang crawler. Uh, we, we would use them to crawl data and data from the websites that permit it. We are trying to currently make efforts towards creating a thriving community full of people who are willing to learn more about distributed lecture technology as well as blockchain and also people who are willing to teach others what they have already discovered. The objectives of this project were five core activities. First of them was a taxonomy for educational opportunities. It's a list of um, basically educational opportunities. Uh, we would have questionnaires for meetups, special interest groups and working groups. We also have a web crawler that would be helpful in scraping and crawling websites, which are considered as learning resources. Uh, then we have curatorship, which means people should be able to add and interact with the database that we'll be creating or the taxonomy that we'll be creating. And also at the end of it, we'll like to have a graph, knowledge graph of the taxonomy. The idea of knowledge graph was actually suggested by Shen Ming in the start of the internship. So the project derivatives, the ones with the green tick are the ones that have been done and the ones in the circle are the ones that are still left. This was because Zhenming was not there for the second half and I had to take all his responsibilities. So I volunteered for it, but we are still on schedule right now. So right now we have a simple, but a strong representative version of the directory. And we have a taxonomy of educational opportunities specific to DLT. We also have a small, but geographically extended community of people who are willing to contribute to the community, um, to the knowledge graph. Uh, we are working on creating a basic set of tools to support collaboration, which will be hosted on a website. Uh, the website will basically contain a knowledge graph and the taxonomy and the interactive features that would be implemented inside the website. Um, I'm working uh, on also creating a final report and a series of blog covering the process that I went through within these three months. A uh, half of it is done and some of it is still remaining. So I'd count that as still to be finished. And in the first half, we created web crawlers to help people find opportunities faster. So project execution and accomplishments. I think I basically covered that in this slide, but uh, we've posted a knowledge graph on the Neo4j Aura. What is Neo4j Aura? It's a cloud distribution for uh, hosting the Neo4j database. We have created a visualization for knowledge data knowledge graph that will help people to interact with it. We have also created a taxonomy which details everything that is contained within the database in a neat manner and in a neat format so that computers who will be scraping our website will be able to uh, access all of that information programmatically. We have also conducted questionnaires asking people about their opinions and um, if they would be willing to contribute to this project. 
and we have also gave a meetup talk uh, the hypoleza gen denver meetup talk about this project i and my mentor both of us were able to give that talk so this is a okay so these were the deliverables i will now share um the stuff that we have accomplished through the um, mentorship period this is the survey this was actually translated in 11 different languages with the help of translators within the hypoleza community a big, a big shout out to everyone who did support us to get this done it was very i'm very thankful for everyone who helped me translate this um, this was in 11 different languages uh, these are the insights from those questionnaires and the biggest insight here is that people mostly prefer platforms uh, third party platforms like code academy or dap university and 20 percent of people prefer youtube as a learning resource uh, this helps us to uh, future in future we'll be able to more specifically target these websites and youtube to uh, grow our knowledge graph and grow our taxonomy this was the first version of knowledge graph that Xianming, uh was able to create later on i used that to create a bigger knowledge graph in the second half of the internship period and right now this is the version that we have <coughs> this is the visualization that will be hosted on the website this is a development sample right now i'm still working on it a bit of features are still to be implemented um, this is an interactivity feature where a person will be able to prune and like navigate the knowledge graph to his choice for example let us say after this internship period i'd be willing to search for jobs so this would help me look for what kind of jobs are available in the blockchain community uh, this is a taxonomy visualization sample uh, it's very big and it's not really readable so i'll just skip this uh, this is the front page for the website that we have this is also a development sample uh, i have not deployed the website yet i'll get to why it, i haven't deployed it right now uh, in the later period so these are the recommendations for future work uh, curatorship projects basically adding more data to the knowledge graph and adding and curating the existing data that is already present inside the knowledge graph um, adding badges and token systems to gamify the process of adding resources so this was something that uh, alfonso and i discussed upon during the uh, internship period and we decided that it would be a better thing to uh, put this as a future project or future implementation that we could work upon after the internship period uh, improving documentation we can improve the documentation for the project website uh, i have implemented some level of documentation but it's very crude and i won't be able to basically flush it out with all the details i can so obviously there will be some room for improvement in documentation uh, add better search and filter support inside the website for knowledge graph and browsing the taxonomy and even in terms of accessibility uh, i think we will be able to do much better uh, one thing i like one thing that I'd like to personally say is that we should migrate to TypeScript, but I have not had the time to do that because there are several benefits for migrating to TypeScript. And this is something that could be a project in future. Um, there are also accessibility improvements and internationalization support for the website because the blockchain community is widespread and throughout the world, people should be able to access the website in different languages. They should be able to basically interact with the website in a more versatile manner. Um, we should also look into schema.org and their formats. This is something that Alfonso was kind enough to um, um, tell me about. <laughs> he said like we should be able to uh, stick to this format, but I'm not sure if we can do that within this internship period. So that could be a future project or a future improvement. Um, these are the project output and results. These are basically links. Uh, there is a disclaimer. Um, I'm still in the process of completing the code for the website. I have not pushed it yet and pushed it as in like pushed my commits to the github the final uh, the final deliverable for this website i was thinking would be between the 26th and 30th of august this delay in schedule is because of the unplanned and unfortunate incident with my friend and fellow mentee Xianming. Um i did say i will take all of his responsibilities and deliverables and then plan ahead and we are still on track uh, but it's just that the plan that i had i had made was between 26th and 30th um so the insights gained uh, the first thing that i'd like to say which i encountered in the development phase was 
things will break and things will break very fast everything that can go wrong will go wrong so there needs to be a specific mentality to follow that things will break and you have to face them uh, second insight was that availability of the resource is not the same as accessibility of that said resource a lot of learning material is available online but it's it this show sure is a need to be more accessible in terms of availability like it should be more accessible to more people if a person cannot discover that resource it's not very useful and uh, the third insight was that open source is much more about the community and communication within the community than just about writing code this was something that i learned during this mentorship period earlier i just used to think that it's just code but i was proven wrong uh, fourth up fourth insight is that opinionated libraries and frameworks are not bad they are just designed to solve very specific and niche problems once you understand why that library was created for example neo4j you will start to vibe with why they handled things the way they have done it and the learning curve for every project that you take should also be factored in when you're choosing your tech stack this was something that was brought up in the uh, last meet up for denvo and i try to think of ways that can do what the barrier for entry for developers when they are trying to contribute to this project now uh, yeah so that's about it a big thank you to everyone who have been supportive and everyone who has been in touch with me and in general this whole community is very nice to be a part of um if you have any questions i'll be ready to take questions right now but apart from that my presentation is done thank you amit um yeah um, so you know this is a very ambitious project you know initially yes. we had two mentees work on this unfortunately there was um you know um medical emergency and the other mentee had to withdraw so i'm really happy and appreciative of you taking on the additional um responsibilities and it looks like you've accomplished a lot so i'll give a chance to your mentor alfonso to chime in here thank you min and and thank you amit um yes it is very ambitious but it's something that is absolutely needed we all want to learn in a easier better way what dlt and blockchain is about and that's an area that the learning materials and development working group has been quite active within the hyperledger community and this project was presented for the mentorship program to look outside of the hyperledger uh, community so once we have acknowledged our ambition uh fate jumped in and uh i appreciate min you that we got two mentees um we wouldn't be able to have done anything if we only had a shen ming because he had his unfortunate car accident and i want to thank amit for taking the responsibilities of of all the rest and um yes we are still without the the website and i'm biting my nails as i said you know yesterday at the hello meeting i'm biting my nails because I, i want to have that and all of us that website as 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 soon as possible because once we start playing with the tools then we'll we'll see their advantage you know the taxonomy is is very clear the knowledge graph is very useful and uh, the idea that this is the beginning of a long journey it's very very um convenient okay for I, our community Thank yeah you. i definitely want to add on to you know sort of the completion of your time in the mentorship program really is just the beginning of your journey <laughs> in yes. the hyperledger community so i hope you will stick around and we look forward to um sounds like you're going to be doing some uh, write ups and maybe yes, a yes. blog post and uh, it uh, sounds like your mentor is able to connect you with our um, marketing team so i look forward to reading more about your experience and outputs uh, of this sure. project thank right you right now in terms of okay uh, can i say one thing yeah sure 
uh, right now in terms of development there is one big security issue that is stopping me from deploying the website otherwise i would have gone ahead and done that the only problem is that the database credentials are being stored as static and if i don't store them as static they basically stop the website from functioning and that's a big problem i cannot release my credentials but the website won't work if i don't release them so i'm trying to work on that issue right now and that's the only reason why i have not deployed it <laughs> that's it all right thank you